Okay, it's Rob here. I'm just going to take you through the process of getting the uh, firmware onto your SD card. And uh, unfortunately, I'm just using a Mac at the moment. I don't have my Windows laptop with me, but the um, procedure is basically the same if you're using Windows. The first thing I want to do is turn on the radio with the three finger bootloader mode, and you'll get that screen. Now, I've already got a, a cable plugged into the back of the radio just to save a bit of time and fumbling around. So, when I plug that into the laptop, what we're going to do is see the drives appear. It takes a few seconds on the Mac, but we'll just uh, sit here and watch it. Okay, so we've got the Tyrannus and the other one's no name, which is the SD card. If we open up that SD card, you'll see the file structure in there, and there's a folder called firmwares. Okay, I've got some in there at the moment, but I'll show you the process of actually downloading that through OpenTX Companion. So let's just open up uh, Companion 2.1.8. Alrighty, now very important that you make sure you have the right settings here for your actual radio. So uh, let me just go, where is it, in preferences on this uh, on this companion. And I'm just using a standard Free Sky Tyrannus there. I fly mode 1, which is throttle on the right, and I prefer AETR. It just is more compatible with what I'm doing. I've just selected the no heli option there. So that's all good. If you don't set these correctly, um, Companion will actually download the wrong firmware. Um, for example, you don't want the Tyrannus Plus firmware on a standard Tyrannus and vice versa. But anyway, that's all good for the radio we have. So the next thing we want to do is come down to File and then Download. Okay, do we want to download? Yes, Download Latest 2.18 and we'll click Download Firmware. Now it's asking, where do you want to put this? So I'm just going to put it on the desktop, okay? Just put it on my desktop. So let's just save that. It's downloading. And okay, we can now close Companion. And close that folder. Now there's the SD card structure. Now all I've got to do is find that firmware. So there it is, so OpenTX no heli always ends in a dot bin. So all we've got to do now is copy that across to the firmwares folder. That's probably already in there, so yeah. Okay, it's saying do you want to duplicate. I already had it had that in there, but um, we'll just replace it for the sake of the exercise. Okay, so it's now in the firmwares folder. So what we need to do now is just eject the radio and uh, when I'm using the Mac just ignore this part if you're using Windows I just eject it with this eject for Windows app which takes off any of the, um, the extra rubbish that a Mac puts on a on like a uh, USB drive takes a few seconds that's fine and Delete, oh sorry, eject the Tyrannus drive as well. Okay, what we can do now is just disconnect from the laptop, reboot the radio. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus S500 GPS mode, idle down, low battery, battery critical, fail safe off, camera centered. Okay, and then long press, short press, and that file that we just downloaded will be here in the firmware folder. So there it is, the one at the bottom with no heli. So now you can actually just click on it and flash the bootloader. Go ahead with that if you want to. Thanks for watching.